Good morning, folks. Most of you know there's a hexagon at the North Pole of Saturn. Well, the Keck images of Uranus now reveal what appears to be six straight lines around its North Pole there. You may need to look closely. A couple interesting articles here, one saying we need to adapt because climate change can't be stopped, and the other discussing rising ocean levels on the U.S. East Coast. Top Quake was a 5.7 that hit south of Australia. At least New Zealand got a break today. Mid-Atlantic Ridge has had multiple tremors north and approaching Greenland. A 3.6 struck Nebraska overnight. Denver, Colorado, not alone in suffering a windstorm yesterday with the rest of the northwest. Looking at the pressure map, we see this big low pressure system. Both that and the wind map are pretty much in real time. They'll both shift east for tonight's watch zone. Raphael creeping up the right edge, currently the most powerful storm on the planet, but the impressive view from this ghost shot caused the rain records in Illinois and Mizzou, and you see how that storm blew up here. Here's Aeneas dying in the Indian Ocean, Preparun and Maria missing land but shearing insane rainfall onto the islands, Tropical Storm, dead on arrival, lost most of its power and headed west, that buoy finally calmed back down after dropping a few more hundred meters the last couple of days. You can see since she was activated this spring, we've seen sporadic drops in depth, indicating seafloor rise totaling near 700 meters. We had a new gamma burst last night, this one from the constellation Aquila. Solar wind shows the coronal hole stream creep back up over 500 kilometers per second around 0 or 1 o'clock UTC. It didn't take down the BZ, there's very little density, Canadian magnetometers show nothing as well, but our failing shield doesn't need macro instability. We still saw induced resonance and plasma penetration at the ramp up, and here are some highly over ionized and in other cases more widespread than usual ionization of our atmosphere. Rockabye sunshine up in the sky. Wuss. Can't seem to pop off anything, not even the filaments. Got some new active regions on the left, coronal holes, center, and turning to the right. Expect fast solar wind for days. Coming quickly to sunset and turning off the atmosphere to reveal Saturn swinging behind the sun, set to conjoin in less than a week. Heliocentric and geocentric watches could be argued for the coming days. It's just past 6 a.m. Get your eyes open. No fear. That's the news, folks. Be safe.